What's going on? Mike Ippoletti here from Job Progress. Today, I'm extremely excited to talk to you about how you can take your estimating worksheet and generate that directly into a material list or a work order. Let's go ahead and jump right in. On the left here, I'm going to hover over estimating. I'm going to click in. And now you'll be able to see that I have my already saved estimating worksheet. I use my macro. I plot my measurements. And here's my document in front of me. From here, I could simply click my three vertical dots underneath that file, choose my option for material list, and then go ahead and hit generate. Upon clicking generate material list, it's going to ask me if I would like to proceed. I would say yes. What I would like to go ahead and rename this, I'm just going to put material list, and then we'll hit our create button. You'll notice that when we create our material list or generate it from our existing worksheet, that anything that was entered in with the type as a material is going to populate into this material list. So no longer going uh, back and forth trying to find the correct materials that you use in your estimate. All that information is going to populate directly for you. If you'd like to include what your cost is as well, you can click your gear icon, select include cost, and now those numbers are going to populate for you. From here, if you'd like to put a delivery date, so if we leave that in your notes, and now we can go ahead and hit our save button. Since we've made some changes, it's gonna ask us to uh, save with our title. Once we have that entered, we're good to go. Now our worksheet has been saved. If I'm ready to go ahead and email this out, I can locate my three vertical dots underneath this file select email, and now I can even go ahead and choose one of my pre-created email templates. So if I created a template with my supplier as the send to, once I selected that template and copy it in, it would automatically put their correct email address. The information I need populates with it, and here's my PDF document. So that's how we generate our material list. Now let's take a look at our work order. We're going to go ahead and we're going to slide back on over to estimating on the left hand side. Once again, I'm going to locate my estimating worksheet that I have created. Get my three vertical dots. And now I'm going to choose work order. So we'll choose generate work order. Once again, it's going to populate asking us if we'd like to proceed. We will choose proceed. Lowry estimate. I'm just going to change that to work order. Hit create. And now it's going to create a work order for me based off of my labor items within my estimating worksheet. From here, it's going to open up directly. And I'm a big fan of the work order worksheets because this will allow you to attach your work through notes as well as any photos that you have within the file. From here, I see I have my tear off installation, my additional pitch. Again, if I want them to see their total, I could do include cost. And now they can see what they're being paid for this labor. Under notes, I can locate select work through notes over here on the right hand side, click it, and now check off my pre-created work through notes that I had on this job. Hit update, and those are gonna populate for me. From here, underneath my attachments, I can scroll on over to the right, hit attach files, and now attach any photos that I have within this job. So I click on photos, photo one, photo two, Maybe give a nice little picture of the roof so we're not doing a tear off on somebody else's house. And then go ahead and hit attach files. Once I'm done and I have all the information I need, I can simply hit my save button. And now it's going to save this work order that's been previously created. The changes that have been made are ready to be sent over. And now I can actually go ahead and schedule my job directly from this created work order. So I'm going to hit my three vertical dots underneath this work order, choose my option for schedule. and go ahead and actually schedule my job directly to my production calendar. Maybe I have my sub already created, maybe I don't. I can go ahead and enter them in, choose my specific date and time, and you'll see that work order is already attached for me. Now I can hit my save button and I'm good to go. Coming back to the job overview, I'll be able to see that my job has been scheduled I can move my job into the correct stage that it needs to be moved in, and I can continue on with the process, giving this customer the best possible experience that I can. 
I hope it's been informative. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to reach out to your account manager or call the support line. That number is 844-562-7764, extension number two. Thank you all. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please feel free to reach out as you need.